Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Run back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome intro, a shockifying intro. Yes. Uh, now I am. I think I'm losing my voice. I don't know. I, I just I was just talking, and my voice just like disappeared for a sec. Not right now, but before this. And if you hear stuff in the background, people are watching TV in my house, so please try to ignore it. So let's get started. Yes. Now what you're going to want to do is press Control Shift Q, and then press it one more time. Bam. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just right click and go to insert video track over here as you can see control shift Q that's what I did to add these two and you're gonna to want to add two video tracks in the first one you're gonna to want to insert your uh, text so just right click over there and click insert text media and then type in whatever you want your intro to say I want mine to say digital rhino duh and go over here like this and we're gonna uh, what you want to do is make the text small but bold so let's just put this to 24 and make it bold Let's change our font to something cool looking. It doesn't really matter what font you choose. It's your choice, obviously. With some fonts, this will look cooler, and with the others, it won't. So, yeah. Make sure you have that in mind when you're choosing your font. Otherwise, everything's going to get messed up. <laughs> um, let's just do this one. This one looks good. And the size is right. So, that's what she said. Uh, press X on there, and then you're gonna want to go to media generators, and you want to go to the noise textures. Blah. Noise textures. It's already selected for me over here, and you're gonna want to click uh, blood cells, and you're just gonna gonna scroll down, and you're gonna want to click blood cells. So just click that and drag it underneath the text like so. And now you can make this any color that you want. I'm gonna make it a bluish color, so that's good. And then you're gonna make the second color completely black because you don't want to be able to see it. So there you go. And then you want to go to Offset, and you're going to want to animate. Now, if you're a different Sony Vegas, you don't need to do any of this. But for a Sony Vegas Pro 11, you're going to have to just click the Animate tool. And then you're going to drag this all the way to the end. And then for your progress and degrees, make that all the way at the end, like that. So then it's moving around when you watch it, like that. And there's backspace over here. All right. Now you're going to want to click the Compositing tool for your text, and then click Burn. And what this does, it moves the blood cell layer behind it, like that. And that looks pretty cool. Let's just go to best, because oh, I am the best. And then, bam, that was cool. Um, Then you're going to want to go to video effects and click glint. So just scroll down and click glint right over there. And then have the sparkle effect and just drag it on your text, like so. And now, as you can see, it looks awesome. You're going to want to uh, drag your boost all the way down to the end to negative whatever, how far I can go. And there you go. Oh, that's weird. Okay, then. Bam, bam, bam. Let's just go to auto over here because I want to be able to have real time. Okay. And let's drag it all the way to the end. Mine goes, let's see how far it goes. That's how far it goes. And I'm going to go down here and click animate. Now, if, remember, if you're in a different Sony Vegas, you don't got to click animate. It's already there. Just click animate over here. And just, like, as, just drag it a little bit further and then boost this up a little bit. Drag it a little bit more. Boost it up some more. And drag it up a bit more. Boost it up. You know how it rolls. Drag it over here. Boost. A little more boost. And then at the end, just boost it full on. Like, full boost. Bam! There you go. And this intro is simple to make, but it looks really complex when you watch it. So check this out. As you could say, it looks boss, doesn't it? Doesn't it, son? Um, yes. So now if you don't like that, which is, you know, I understand. I'm an understanded person. What you can do is that you could brighten this stuff up in the bottom and make it more noticeable. So you could do a sparkle, and there you go. Just put that on there and watch it. And now what that will add to it is that it will make it pulse more. So watch this. As you can see, it's making it pulse more. And I really like the way it looks because at the end it just disappears. And you can make it as long as you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so here, let's see how long we can make it. Bam. And see, the reason I don't do that is because the text has to reset itself then. Which is really annoying because you're going to have to do like a longer version of it. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, 
This was quick and simple, but I gotta say that the result was pretty cool looking. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to subscribe, like, rate, comment, favorite, you know, whatever you do. <laughs> like and rate, same thing. Oh, well, guys, if you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to, you know, do all that stuff. And leave a comment if you need any help in Sony Vegas on any other tutorials, because I will be sure to make a tutorial on them. Because I'm running out of ideas. Yeah, so thanks for watching. See you guys later.